Welcome to the video. So I'm back with another Chromebook for you today. This time it's the 2020 Lenovo Flex 3. It's also known as the Flex 3i in some regions. It's a small form factor, 11.6 inch convertible Chromebook from Lenovo with a touchscreen, 4 gig of RAM, an Intel Celeron N4020 processor. It's got an IPS touchscreen, lots of connectivity, and it'll get updates to Chrome OS all the way through to June 2026. I'm going to give you an overview of the Chromebook and my thoughts on it and whether it's worth parting with your cash for or what you might look to go for instead. In terms of an update, this is a really mild update to the Lenovo C340 11 Chromebook that I've also featured on the channel, so do check those videos out. If it were a car, I think this would be seen as the most minor of facelifts, but perhaps with a winning formula in what Lenovo were doing with the C340 11, that's not going to be such a bad thing. If you're new to the channel and you are looking to buy your first Chromebook and that's why you're considering this Flex 3, I definitely recommend you check out my other Chromebook videos. I'll link to my playlist up in the top right now. Importantly, that includes a buying guide so you can find out exactly what you should be looking for when you're trying to select the right Chromebook for you. Okay, so this is the 32 gig model um, storage wise. It's also available as a 64 gig model. Um, I'll link to the exact spec of this model I have here in the video in the description down below and I'll also link to the other variants so you can check out what's available in your region. Uh, there are variants with up to 8 gig of RAM and up to 128 gig of storage but these are a bit rarer and they're going to be higher in price and I think there's definitely more competition to consider at that end of the market. Here in the UK, you can see it comes in this Abyss Blue, uh, which is a really dark blue. It looks pretty cool, but it's kind of down to your personal taste, I guess. And it also comes in an almond color, which I think maybe used to be called champagne. Uh, but basically, those are the two choices wherever you are in the world. In fact, it's just not all regions have both options. It's got a great aluminium or aluminum lid, which gives it more of a premium feel. However, the main body is still plastic. As you can probably also see, the lid although it kind of feels great it's a real fingerprint magnet um, I do wonder what it would be like if it were in the almond color maybe that suffers less if you have the almond version already please do comment down below on that if you've watched my other Chromebook videos, you'll probably already be familiar with the predecessors to this Chromebook. So as mentioned, the immediate predecessor is the C340 11, and before that it was the C330. Uh, both of those are on the channel. This one is, of course, most similar to its immediate predecessor, the C340. Um, it does feel like a very mild update, as I mentioned, so it's got a newer processor, so it's the N4020 rather than the N4000. I'll link to a comparison between those two down below um, but I think for most average users they're not gonna notice too much there um, if you're a gamer or if you really want to know that you've got the slight edge on the older model then you know perhaps you're gonna want to go for the flex 3 um, they've both got Chrome OS updates through to June 2026 as well so it's kind of odd there's nothing to differentiate them there uh, especially as this came out a year later than the C340 11 the screen is nice and bright. It feels like it's the same unit that's come from the C330 and then the C340 11. So again, no major upgrade or update there. The main downside, um, of course, of this screen is the large bezels. Uh, but really, once it's in use, I don't notice them myself. And if you look at some of the other models, like the Acer Spin 311 um, that I've also featured on the channel, they're not really any different in size than the bezels on that Acer as well. Performance is great at this price point. Um, so of course you can run all the compatible Android apps, the webcam mics, uh, the speakers are adequate enough for music, uh, movies and calls, but I wouldn't expect any of them to blow you away. I also really appreciate the keyboard on this machine though. I think Lenovo generally do a decent job here and the same goes for the trackpad at this price point. I think they're both a really good uh, offering. Battery life is also decent. I might do a more scientific test in the future, but I'm happy enough using it on and off for an hour or so for a few days until I really feel the need to put it on charge. And the fact that it's convertible for you to use in a number of different physical modes, including the ability to have speakers firing up, watching a movie, uh, to have it in the kind of tablet UI mode as well with that change happening in Chrome OS. It's a great bonus when you compare it to a uh, standard form factor machine that's not convertible. 
It of course comes packed with a power brick with USB-C connectivity to charge on either side of the Chromebook. Uh, this helps you stay pretty flexible with your desk setup. I tend to use my Chromebook charger to charge my phone as well and I have noticed the brick on this one is just a little buzzier than usual um, but that might just be a one-off. The other connections on the Chromebook are decent and ample at this price range um, as well as that USB-C on either side for data and charging. You've got dual USB-A 3.0 ports on both sides. You've got a micro SD card reader on the left side and a headphone jack on the right. There's also a Kensington lock port. The power button with the built-in LED is on the right and there's also a physical volume rocker. So pretty well set up. Um, it's not the lightest Chromebook out there, it's weighing in at just over 1,200 grams, so that's about 2.64 pounds. Price-wise, as in many of my other videos, I often recommend checking if you can buy a grade A refurb, a customer return, at a decent saving. I got this particular model secondhand on eBay. I paid under 200 pound this month, so that's February 2021. Uh, that's about 280 US dollars, or about 230 euros currently. Brand new here in the UK, the 32 gig model is typically around 280 pound, which is about 390 US dollars or 320 euros. And the 64 gigabyte model brand new in the UK is about 300 pound. So that's about 420 US dollars or 345 euros. Overall, in my opinion, this is a great Chromebook, but you should definitely weigh up the price you could pay for the C340 11 against this and consider if you're really going to benefit from the newer processor or not. Um, I expect those who look to buy this Chromebook will be more bothered by the choice of colours and make a decision based on that. So as I mentioned, this comes in the blue or the almond. That's the Flex 3. If you prefer silver or pink, then maybe you're going to prefer the C340 11. Um, I don't understand why Lenovo or Google couldn't have offered a slightly longer support life on the Flex 3i uh, in terms of the Google uh, Chrome OS updates. That could have helped differentiate it from the C340 11, uh, but as mentioned, they both run through to June 2026. Um, pretty odd just in the fact that they released a year apart but did it that way. If you found this video useful or enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up. Um, as mentioned, please do check out the other Chromebook content and budget tech content on the channel and perhaps consider subscribing and ticking that bell so you get notified every time I upload. Any questions, thoughts, comments on the Flex 3, drop them down below in the comments. And if you're already an owner, do tell me what you love or dislike about your Flex 3. Cheers.